Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So, <clears throat> we, uh, I finished our, we finished our angel. My angel, my angel. And I'm going to wax. So I'm going to show you guys how I wax and give you guys different tips and ideas on um, what you can use and how to do it. It's very simple. First and foremost, you want to find a paintbrush that you don't mind if it gets ruined. And you want it to be, uh, have a fairly big... Uh, feral uh, edge on it. Let's see if I can find one. I want to use a. Maybe I'll use this one. I'm just going to use this one. This is a size 10. It's old. I know. Now, once we're done, you can definitely clean these up if you want. I just kind of throw them away. I like to buy cheaper brushes when I do this, but you know, you can definitely use what you have and clean it up. Just don't use it for, you know, use it for mixed media because my mixed media, as you can tell, all my brushes are ruined anyway from mixed media. But, you know, if you have one that's older or whatever, that's what we do. Next, we're going to get, and it comes in packages like this. It's beeswax. And that's what I use. You can also get beeswax in um, chunks. And it's more yellow, uh, which gives it a nice... Um, antique kind of look can't find my yellow one right now so i just figure i'm just gonna go there because i use both it doesn't it doesn't matter to me it's whatever whatever i want to do now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna focus on i'm gonna get a little closer and i'm gonna focus on one part right now you're gonna see my cord i'm kind of in a crappy way here okay so i'm gonna do like this so you guys can really see and i'm gonna only do this part for now and then i will you know, bring it back further so you can see the rest. I just want to show you how to get started. Now, I also have a uh, iron, and it's an iron that is from folk art, I believe. It's with the I love to create kind of thing where you uh, iron on your rhinestones and whatnot, and it's a small little iron. I have it in a lot of my videos. However, the gods only know where it's at in this room right now, so I'm going to do it. I mean, another way that I do it. So if you have that little iron as I do this, I'll tell you how to do it. Very, very simple. And when I do find the iron, which I'm planning to, it might be still downstairs, I will come on real quick and do a journal page so you guys can see that. So I'm going to use my heat gun. I have my paintbrush and I have my wax. I also have a few things. Um, I have some gold stars, some random color stars. You can use... Um, I don't have any around here right now, but you can use rhinestones. You can use glitter. Let me see. I have this iced enamels. Uh, this is like little glitter. I'm going to open that up just in case, but you don't want plastic glitter when it's real hot. You might be able to get away with it once it starts cooling down, but, um, let me try to open this. Okay. So, but this is like little little glitter that you put in resin and enamel and stuff like that. So I also have a purple one. I don't know if I'll use that or not. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But I might as well open it because I don't want to be stuck with my... Yeah. I got these as a, a company. The company sent these to me. So I'm very excited to use these in my jewelry. I'll be doing that soon. But this is all... This is all I'm going to keep out right now. So first what you want to do is you want to get your heat gun ready or your iron. And what we're going to do is we're going to just drip some wax on here. Now the first layer of wax you put on here is going to be, um, uh, it's going to soak into the wood if you're using wood. If you're using paper, it might soak in a bit as well. I've used it on many journal pages. I have many videos of that. But using wood, the first, you want this to go in and soak in first so we can really get that nice look on the outside. So what I do is, now you can shave, shave it on here, but let me show you. I'm just going to hold my gun, my heat gun, and I'm going to drip. I'm going to drip, going to drip. And it's going to drip a lot. Just kind of move it over a little bit. And then over here, drip some. All right. Now I got that drip, and you can see it's drying very fast. All I'm going to do is use my brush. Now, you see it dried very quick. It's freaking hot in here. But I'm just going to re-wet it 
re uh, melt it rather, why re wet it? All right, kind of blow it around a little bit, not much, and just continue to lightly. I'm not pushing hard like I'm painting. I'm just kind of brushing it. And you're going to see it's going to dry. It's going to have a nice white uh, dryness to it, like a white sheen to it. But what you're going to do now is after you brushed it, go back and re-wet it everywhere again that you put it. And it's encasing a lot of those jewels. They will still stick out a bit unless you go really thick, which you definitely can. You can also, which I was thinking about doing a video on, put resin over this. So it's like a glass-like finish. And that might be something I do in the future um, because that would look beautiful as well. So we have that little bit done there. Let me see if I turn on my, uh, you can't see any much better, but maybe you'll be able to see more in the face. So now what I'm going to do, my brush is starting to get hard. No big deal. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to melt it all here on my next layer. I say go in different layers, you know, not to, not to, um, do the whole thing and then go over it. But I mean, honestly, do what you want. Whatever's easier for you. And I'm just going to do that. And I want it to go on my wings, on my everywhere. And I'm just dripping it because I'm laying it down. All right. Now, once that's dripped, I'm going to go back. I'm going to wet it. Make sure it's all melted. And I'm going to hit my paintbrush for a second just to loosen that up. And then I'm going back in and I'm brushing it. And you can see that it's wet. And you just keep brushing it down. It's all right. It's going to have some brush strokes. It's all right. It's going to dry. It's okay. We will uh, reheat it again. That is the best part of this. Now, I'm avoiding that flower because I don't want to necessarily, you know, dinge up the uh, color, the sparkle. But you can see it dries very fast. And it's all right. Don't get nervous. You can see the whiteness on her. We're going to go back and we're going to re-wet it. Now I'm hitting that rhinestone because all that wax is going to melt off. And I'm just wetting everything again. Now I let this dry a long time. So, you know, make sure you're, you're really dry when you're going to do this. Your paint and everything's dry. Your glue. And again, just... Keep bringing it down. So everything's covered really good. Really, really good. And you see it's getting, you know, run it over it again. You're going to have lumps, but that's okay. We're going to smooth that all out when we're done. We just want to get one layer on here. On, it should have popped up, but there's a video that I do web, pa uh, web pages, art journal pages with um, wax as well that you should check out because it's, it's, you know, it's a lot of fun. So, oh, I like it. And I'm just keep going because I want it to be, you know, fairly smooth. I'm not worried about that white right now. I just want to keep melting it. That just means that it's drying. And it will actually go through a different, a few different colors. So I'm going to move this up a bit. And then we're going to move down here. And I'm just going to continue to pull that wax down so everything's on there. Okay, now we're going to wax a little bit more. Just a little bit, just a little bit. We're going to wax just a little bit. I'm going to drop it all over my metal because I want that to make sure you get a wax on it. Yeah. I'm just a waxing machine. Over here. Okay. 
pull that down. And I'm moving the wax with my gun as well, my heat gun. You can also do it with your iron. Like I said, your little iron, your big iron, your, uh, what's it called? Your stencil thing that I can't think of, wood burner, wood burner. You can use your wood burner as well. Works really, really good. So I'm just, I just keep kind of going over and re, reworking it. It's suck, sucking in all that wax. Sucking it in, sucking it in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up and just leave the wax that's, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. Let me turn it this way. You see it running down? It's all right. It's drying because it's just, it's going to run down. And then I'm going to take the heat gun because I want it to run. So I get all that extra off. Reheating. I know you can't see this, but you'll see as the wax goes down. That's just kind of extra wax. It's good. You don't, you know, you want it. This just kind of makes it a little bit more even for you. All right. And I'll lay it back down here. Move you down here a little bit more. And you can see we have our runny runnies. And that's okay. And now that it's flat, we're going to melt that all up again. It takes a second. It doesn't take a lot. Ah, oh, fungal. Come on. Good thing that was dry up there. Okay. So now I'm going to take my brush again. I didn't wet it like I should have. Didn't dry. I mean, hit it with the gun. Just want to have a little soft, a little hot water too. Will help. It's no big deal. You just want it to be a little bit more pliable. And we want it to, just like we're painting, just run it all down. And can you see how it's like milky white? All right, we want to make sure we get down here because there's not enough. Now you can also take a piece off like this, just pull a little piece off, throw it there and melt it. You're going to see it melt. Now I just want it to flow over this way. So we get it everywhere. Everything's covered. Okay, so that's our first layer. Let's move back this way. Let's get this freaking cord out of the way. Okay, it's still going to be in the way, I swear, today. Okay, let's just try to rig it up that way. It'll probably fall again. Okay, so we're back up at the face, and it's, it's dry, it's waxy, it's okay. So I'm not going to worry about straightening anything out right now, but what I'm going to do is add some of this glitter. Now I'm going to take a little bit, I'm going to use my, my sparkly glitter here. I'll use a pinch of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to wet a little bit of this. See if I can get that a little wet. And then I'm going to take a pinch and just kind of drop it in. I know you can't see. There you go. I'm going to do some over here. We wet it, just little pinches, little pinches. We wet that wax a little bit and add it in. Down some here. Just adds a little bit of bling. Okay. Just wanted to add. That's how you add a little bit of that. You know, it's hard to see with my hands in the way, and I apologize. So I'm going to leave that sit for a minute and then I'm going to show you how to put some of these stars in and it's the same thing. Now I love the way these wings came out and I'm going to show you it up close, but I just have a couple stars here and I'm just going to do a few. I like doing the stars. So I'm going to give this a quick blow so that extra comes off where it didn't go in. And it just goes in there. A little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to take a star, just a white one. I'm going to wet it here. 
and push it down in that wax. Now I might need more wax there because it's not sticking. So I'm just going to melt a little bit. And you can see it glowing. And stick it down. Stick it down. Where else? Let's do some over here. In the dress, stick it down. Now that needs a little bit more wax. And you can always go back over it and just hit it with a little bit of melted wax. It sticks up, it sticks on the And we're just adding it on. Now you can add a little bit more wherever you want. I love the wings. I like that look. And I know I need a little bit more down the bottom, which you're not going to see right now, but I'm just melting it down there. Okay. I'll put that down. I'm going to take some of these gold stars and just kind of throw it around wherever I think that it's still a little bit wet. Just add a little bit of something. And if you want to add them, you know, See, I wasn't wet there, so I'm going to take that out and I'll just do a little, little pinches. Okay, so I'm going to shake it. Get all those stars off that didn't stick. It's no big deal. Move them over here. Okay. And that's basically it now. But what we're going to do is for finishing it up and you can go on and embellish the crap out of it. And believe me, I have done, I mean, where I've embellished the crap out of things, but just for uh, video wise, I'm not going to do that right now, but I'm going to go back in on my wings where I have those lumps of wax and disperse that. And anywhere I have these big lumps where it's dry, and just disperse it. And if you, if you go over it, you'll see the stars will go into the melted wax as well. It'll blow some off, but it'll definitely uh, set up. Set up. All right. Okay, so I got this all re-wet. I'm going to start with the top. And what I'm going to do is make sure she's all little parts at a time. What I'm going to do is hold it up. You're not going to see it, but you're going to, it's going to run down. And I'm going to hold it up like this and take the heat gun and just kind of smooth it out. So all that extra just kind of runs down. Turn it this way, just so we're getting it at all angles. And you can take your paintbrush if you want it uh, more smooth, like, you know what I mean? What all I'm trying to do is get these big puddles out. And you can pour some off if you want. If you're at a point where you're like, ah, oh, it's a little bit too much, you can pour it off. I'm not worried about it. Just want to make sure it's all covered. Okay, lay it flat so it dries, and we see what we're dealing with. And now you could throw, you know, while it's cooling, you could throw more stars on there if any fell off, or you know, you want to add a little bit more. Just kind of pushing it in while it's still a little bit warm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is give it a second to dry. Let me read this. Okay, let me read this. Okay. 
Okay, I'm trying to get everything out the way. So while well, that cools for a second, so I can see where I want to lift off anymore or straighten it out, our paintbrush. What you can do is get a uh, container of hot, hot, hot water. I have obviously my water thing is here for, for this is from like some egg drop soup or something from the Chinese place, and I save it and it's been I've been using it for years and years and years. Put very hot water in it, stick your brush in there, and move it around. So it loosens up everything. Empty out the hot water in about two minutes of you squishing it around. Put more hot water in and do that and massage your, your uh, what's it called, bristles. And you'll see that the wax is coming out and your brush will be, I mean, for mixed media, it'll be fine. You don't want to do no watercolor paint or anything like that with it, but, oops, sorry. Or, uh, but it'll be, it'll totally be fine. Okay, so I can see right here. I don't know how well you guys can see it. Let me see if I can bring it in. I'll move it like this and move it up like this. I did clean in here a bit today, but it doesn't seem like you can really say that. All right. So we have, that's all of it. So you can see where there is definitely, you know, some puddling of the wax here. You know, it's not a big deal. All that means is that I just need to disperse it a little bit better. So I'm going to wet my brush. I mean, heat my brush. So it's a little more pliable and I'm going to go in wet this really good and what you really want to concentrate on where like you can really see it now the face obviously you're going to see it so we're just going to kind of brush it down it's going to dry so hit it one more time where it's you know running around here. I want it to be out of here. Yep. Oh, I love that in there. I can see some puddles. We're just bringing it down. It's to look like it's wax. It's to look like it's a little vintagey. Okay. So. I really love it. All right. So you see, we got all that. We got all that. Okay. So, again, you could do your brush. I'm just going to lay my brush in there for now, even though it needs to, needs to go. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that for a second. Now, let me tell you, it's going to go through a couple phases. Right now, it's going to dry, and it's going to be, um, you're going to see a white coating to it. Um, when it's all the way dry, you'll see it become clear. So, you just want to give it a second. And again, let me tell you guys, you can go all out. Like I, you know, I have all these little pieces here, all these different things, any little tchotchkes you have laying around, whether it's uh, little pieces from an earring or rhinestones or uh, jewelry that you don't, you know what I mean? Pieces of jewelry or uh, anything, anything, anything. Um, these are just little die cut pieces. You can use anything that you have to add into your um, painting. So don't worry, you know, just anything. And like I said, this you can buy, it's a bigger, it's twice the size of this, right? So it's like probably that big. And you can um, buy it at AC Moore, Michaels and all that. You can also get the blocks there. But this was like, I like this because it's easier for me to handle. Um, the big blocks are great too. And they have this and they have it also in the, uh, like the yellowy color, which is my other, um, I have a big block of beeswax that you can use as well. But I like this because for this one, I want it to look a little antique but I don't want it to look too antique -y. Um, when I find the other yellow one, like I said, I'll definitely show you, um, because I love it. it. It's a whole different thing, you know, but this is mixed media. It's supposed to look, you know, pretty cool. So we just want it to dry. You can see, can you see here? It's a little bit white, uh, like around here. It's pulled a little bit. It's okay. It just needs to dry and, and cure, uh, for a memento. So I'm going to do that. But it's a lot of fun, and it's it, it really doesn't take. And if I could find my my uh, let me take a drink. Mm. Damn mouth of mine is killing me. Damn the jaw and cheeks. Um, if I could find my little iron, I could show you how to do it too. The only thing with the iron is when you have this and this and the big things, you know, you you want to use you know you, you don't want to put it definitely on this all the way because it'll melt it. So you want to kind of I like melted blocks. So, but that's my thing. 
but you can definitely feel this is still very warm. It had to soak into the wood. We don't have too much pooling, so that's good. Let me see if I can lift up to see if you could see how delicious that looks. See, and you can see the shine of the wax on her. See how nice? And then the, look, these wings I love, and I love with the wax on them. Look at that. That's the crackle from uh, Deco Art. And you can see all the way down. There we go. There we go. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to put it like that. I was, work, I was reading to my pen, so <laughs> my name is everywhere I was writing. Okay. So we're just going to leave her go for a second. And then what you want to get is a rag. Now, I don't know what the heck I do with my rag. You want a nice cotton rag, but let me see. Is this mine? Yeah, this is not clean, but it'll be fine. It's, you know, just put your regular cotton rag. Paper towel, I mean, will be fine too. You don't want it wet though. You want it to be dry. And like I said, this, you can still feel it's warm and you want to really wait till it's cool. So, but that's, I mean, it's, I'm only going to show you the one part, but it's really, really, it's really good, really fun, and I love all the stuff in it. I just love all the little little tchotchkes and everything in it. And I'm going to put this up for sale. I can't decide how I'm going to put things up for sale yet, like where. If I'm just going to do it on my website, I keep going back and forth. But what I'm going to do while I'm sitting here is to shine up the sparkles. Get some of that wax off there and really buff them so they, that really comes through. And that works so good. So yeah, I don't know if I should, I have some paintings I want to sell and I have some jewelry. I don't know if I should hold these up and put them for sale, like on do a YouTube video like some people do. If I should put it on my site, I can't decide. Okay. I'm cleaned off those. So now, I really want you guys to see, it's still a little bit warm. I'm very impatient. Very impatient. But as you can see, as it dries, it, the white goes away. It's not as white around here as it was. It's not a big deal, but as it cools off, not dries, it, uh, that's what happens. Now I got some wax on the outside to here. I'm not really worried. I might put a little bit of black glitter, like a little bit of black around here just to give it a little bit of sparkle. I don't know yet though, <clears throat> but that doesn't matter whether I wax it or not. Now. While I wait for this to dry, again, you can put resin in this as well. Nice resin go down on it, um, clear resin. Leave it sit like this for a day, like 24 hours, and you'll have a nice, nice, you know, glossy uh, thing. You can also do a gloss. I have the gloss decoupage, and um, I'm going to use it on something else, but you definitely can use it on here and really, you know, put it on here, and you get this really nice glass-like finish. You can use glossy accents. You can use any gloss thing that you want. You can use a spray um, sealer, you know, clear sealer, which will work as well. Waxing is very cool. I love it. Just as a different way to do it and, and something, you know, fun to do. So let's work on this. It's still a little wet, but I'm just going to do this one part. Let's see if you guys can see it. Just go around in circles like you're buffing your car, waxing it. Okay. So what it's going to do is it's going to feel different. It's going to feel a little softer. Let's see if you could see. Yeah, see, I can see. I don't know if you guys can see. Like I buffed it and it came out a little bit brighter. But you can see right here, I didn't buff this one. So you see how it's still foggy? So let me buff it. Okay. Let's see if you guys can see. 
See how much brighter it gets? More clear? Yeah, I love it. All right, so I'm going to start. I might as well start down here. And I'm just going to buff, and I'm going to buff everything. And you just want to go over You know, we have those things that are stuck on there, the little stars and all that. But you could see it does, gets a little shiny. And you won't put anything else on here. This is it. You just sealed it. Let's do her face. I love doing the face because it's just in the hair because it can really see. Oh, yeah. Can you see how much shinier that is? Oh, I hope the camera's picking this crap up. <laughs> and it's just buffing it. Wings. Oh, I love the wings on this. Oh, I just love it. And this is all you'll do is just keep going and hope you have a better towel than me because it's not as enjoyable. Like I said, check out the video um, that I have. It should be popping in here somewhere or the links down below um, of when I wax the journal page because you'll see it a lot better. I'm just going over around it just to kind of gloss that up a bit, buff it up. Yeah. Okay, my. Come on, fuzzy. I hate when the towels are fuzzy. And you just keep buffing it until you're at the point where you really dig it. So here she is. She's all waxed. I'll take a picture. I have some. See, it's not all the way dry, so it has a little bit of movement yet. So I'll probably have to hit that with the heat gun one more time. And that's all you'll do is hit it with the heat gun for a second to remelt it. You're going to have little spots. It's all right. And then we do it just to redistribute it. And then leave it cool and buff it again, and you're good to go. So that's it. That is the waxing. It's a lot of fun, and it really does make it look really, really cool. Um, like I said, I'll sit here waxing all day. I mean, I'll sit here buffing all day because it comes up in such an incredible shine. And you can see the white on her face a little bit. I don't know how well you can see it, but that's the wax and it's not dry yet. So once that turns clear, then I know that it's dry and I can go in and buff it. Now, one of those little things fell off there, so I'll probably have to re-add it. Or maybe I won't even touch it. I won't touch it. But I love the way she came out. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I do. I can't stand it. I love it so much. It's still going to dry. See, what happens is when it's not dry and you get a buff, you'll know because you want it to be cool. And it definitely feels it's cooler down here, but not up here where I just worked. And that's what will happen is you'll move the wax around and get little bumps. So. But that's no big deal either. You can fix that. that. That happens. I'm impatient. Now it's just figuring out what to do on, on these edges. Maybe I'll just do a quick. That might not be good for me. Let's see. Kind of like the weathered look of it so this is why my uh stamp pads are all beat up in bed because this is the stuff i do but i like it i'm not gonna complain all right get away from their wax i just 
like stamp it on. Yep. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Once she dries fully, I'm going to buff her up one more time and she's going to be done. So let me know down below what you guys think, how I should sell my art. I'm, you know, I used to sell on Etsy. I sold on Etsy for years. I did so good on Etsy, but the problem is, is they change a lot of their policies and that kind of thing. And, um, I don't know. I just don't, I, they take a lot of fees. It's a lot, a lot of stuff. And I really, I don't know if I should do it on my website. If I should just, you know, hold it up and say, this is how much this is plus shipping, email me at such and such. Um, I don't know what to do. So let me know guys. Oh, I'm just in love with this. All right. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. If you wax anything of yours, let me know. And I'm not talking about the bikini area, but let me know what you guys uh, do. Any questions, of course, just ask, ask down below, ask me wherever you can find me. And that's it. That's us waxing. So check out this video and check out the video, like I told you before, where I wax the journal pages. I have questions and answers coming up soon because I have a lot of them. So see you when I do that. That will be within the next day or so. And as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I love you guys so very much. Your support means so much to me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.